it has to be said, I think it's the ports having to accommodate the ever increasing size of vessels. It's fair to say not all ports are going to be handling the mega ship, but ships have grown in general, quadrupled in size in the past 10 or 20 years. Some of these ships may be tied up on jetties that are 40, 50 or even 60 year old. And it's still the responsibility of ports to supply a safe haven for these vessels. Our research is showing that there's more and more shipping companies, agents and captains actually asking the question whether bollards have been tested to a safe working load. And the answer coming back to that is no. A quick visual inspection and a coat of paint does not constitute a safe working load test. In 2012, the port approached my company, Tyne & Weir Marine, to see if we could come up with a solution on testing bollards. We spent two years in research, development and manufacture, and bollard load testing was born. We're now actively seeking preferred suppliers around the globe to work with. It's basically quite a simple principle. It's a hydraulic cylinder pulling on two bollards at the same time. And it also converts hydraulic pressure to tons. So we see that on a laptop screen or an iPad. We then start the hydraulic pump and it now pulls a load on this bollard. We insert this roller to change the angle. You move the roller closer to the bollard to increase the angle. You can also change the angle of the rope by putting that over the top the way a ship would tie up and that is effectively pulling the bollard at 45 degrees away from the key. You can see it creates a turning moment and it will stop at 45. The whole machine weighs just over a tonne. It takes between 30 and 60 minutes to test a bollard. How this works, we would supply them with a BLT machine, which they pay for. We teach them to our standards. They then go out and test bollards in their area. At the end of each day, the information is downloaded from that machine and sent directly back to our head office where it's processed. We then send them back a test certificate with the exact GPS location of that bollard, a photograph on the test certificate and what it was tested to. They then present that to the client and the end result is we get a small percentage for the test certificate, the service company get paid from the client and the client now can say our bollards have a safe working load. A happy result all round. And the global picture, what we have, our vision, is to have a machine in every major port in the world sending information back to us every day. So we're building up a huge catalogue, a picture of all the bollards that's tested in the world. And how cool would it be for a captain just to click on our website and knowing he's going into a port and he can actually see the bollards and what they have been tested to.